Uh, this is Antoinette. And uh, I, I want to just take you through a couple of things that I think it is, it makes it sets her apart and is part of our evolution of the fashion doll. Um, first of all, when I set out to do the sculpt, like I say, she's, she's, a, she's a narrower sort of silhouette. And what I mean by that is, if you, if you, I don't know if you can get the side view here, but um, she was sculpted with a definite kind of arch to her back, which I think is a very beautiful sort of, I don't know if you can get, but a very beautiful sort of mm -hmm. curve. Um, I think we've done some improvements to the jointing. Of course, um, there's always a battle, uh, you know, the more joints you put in, the more you have to cut the body, and, and the more you cut the body, you know, to, people like it or don't like it. Um, I think that the collector is pretty much used to the, to the wrist joint and to the elbow joint. Um, we've developed this um, under the bus line that um, Tyler's had for many years. For Tyler, it was so that the shoulder could drop, so that there would be movement back and forth, um, like a, a model sort of thing. Um, the thing that's new about this is we, we brought this, this um, part one step forward. Uh, it's been engineered so that it goes forwards and backwards, so she can really arch her back, mm -hmm. or she can do that model kind of uh, hunch. She can kind of hunch over. <laughs> and it's especially nice when she sits, because um, yeah, uh, other fashion dolls we've done, when they sit, they're, they're ramrod straight. And I think the natural, a, a person naturally wants to come forward a little bit or bring their shoulders down a little bit. So she's able to do that. Another thing that we've done is uh, I change where and how I put the hip joints. So that uh, when I did Tyler, for instance, pants were at the waist, skirts were at the waist, and now they're not. So you want to you want to show a nice hip bone and a nice stomach. So uh, you know I, I didn't want that uh, to be interfered with by any kind of cut or jointing. So that's all sculpted. So we have a different hip mm -hmm. joint. It's very deeply cut, so she can sit really well. Um, we've changed our puppet joints at the knees to to a covered knee joint. Uh, and the leg can rotate. It can turn out so the ankle turns out or in. So she can have that model kind of pigeon toed sort of thing. Um, the, the sculpt, because Antoinette is the muse, is the artist's inspiration, uh, I, did, I wanted a soft sort of sculpt uh, that, that paint could kind of uh, you know, change. And uh, if you, when we go around, there's, there's uh, many different looks to the doll because of the, the way the face is painted. And I think that's about it. Oh, uh, skin tone. Again, as I said, that, you know, she's the artist muse, so the artist sees her as they, as they want. So she comes in four different skin tones, and they kind of have cosmetic names. This one, I believe, is Cameo. This is probably 25% lighter than our normal fashion doll skin tone. Uh, we have our normal fashion doll skin tone, which we call Bloom. And we have the slightly darker one, which we call Honey. And then we have the darkest skin tone, which we call Spice, which is kind of a, a beautiful sort of reddish brown. And there you have the basics. These are the basics. Now here we have Antoinette uh, as, as our dress doll. She, we used her as our muse. And what we're looking at here is we wanted to take fashion and, and push it. Uh, for, for us, so we, what, what we kind of get is is a kind of French couture look, and a lot of dressmaker details and and unbelievable fabrics. We have a rosetted tulle here, which is amazing. We have a, kind of a patent leather sequin here, and then we have uh, a trico that's been uh, shaped and ruched and you know to to get this um, kind of waterfall sort of thing and then it cascades down into where the water hits the pond or whatever. So great fun with that. Feathers, uh, uh, accessorized to the hilt. Again, uh, with Antoinette in, in, on, on this table, we have um, we've kind of pushed the fabric envelope uh, accessories in detail. A lot of uh, handwork, uh, beading, uh, ruching, uh, embroidery, and uh, we, we, what you get is a very rich sort of uh, uh, look, plus very, very dramatic shapes. I'm excited about the extra outfits. Of course, with a good fashion doll, you have to have extra outfits, and, and what we've done here is um, 
it's all about texture and shape. So you, you get kind of a, uh, a fashiony younger vibe with, with um, all these kind of heavy duty textures. We use a lot of knits and uh, shine against matte and uh, textural differences that I think make the clothes really stand out.